All right, guys, welcome back. So I got a request from someone who wants me to use their um, use their design um, that they did with my template. So I'm going to do that real quick for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to upload. So I can upload the um, file. I already have it uploaded um, onto Design Space. I didn't do anything else to it. I just uploaded it. So I'm going to click on it. Click on insert. Okay, um, make this window a little bigger. Okay, so I inserted it and I'm just gonna click on it. And as I noticed, the size is just a little bigger, which easily can happen. Um, but when I resize it, it should be the same exact size. So what I'm gonna do is open up the uh, template that I uh, created and right here for a 15 ounce mug. I'm gonna insert that. And I'm just inserting it really just for the size so I can see what size it is. So the size is 10.761 by 4.228. So I'm gonna click on this one. Um, 10 points, I should only have to change one side. Um, 10.761 and boom, 4.228. So the sizes are the same. I only uploaded that one for that reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. Oh, sorry, delete. All right, so now I have it set up like I want, but I notice they are, it looks like two different layers. Yeah, so what I wanna do is I'm going to go ahead and attach them, and this is just so that they lay out in the same exact spot when we go to make it. So I'm gonna go over here to uh, select them. And attach is also gonna change them to the same color, but you know that that doesn't matter because really the color is based off of the color of paper that we choose. So we should be golden right now. Um, another thing that I wanna do is I want to bring this up. So I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm just gonna manually do it. Last time I showed you guys how to mathematically do it. Um, and I want it, to fit in the three grids, so I'm good with that. All right, so I have it set. This is how I want it. I'm gonna go to make it. Now we're in make it, um, and this is looking good. It's looking how we want it. I just have to remember, just like you'll have to remember that when you go to put this in on the mat, that it is three from the grid, top of the grid, and three from the left of the grid. Okay, having this set, material size, I'm gonna choose mirror. And then once I choose mirror, I'm gonna choose continue. And then it's connecting to the machine, it's seeing it. I'm gonna choose for the base material. You might not see this. Mine is set as a favorite because I use it often. So I'm gonna choose browse all materials. And so if you don't see that, choose browse all materials and just scroll down um, and then every day into the iron on area. You see that I'm gonna choose infusible ink transfer sheet. So that's all you would do. I already have mine, so there's no point in me just, um, changing that, I'm gonna click on it. And then I'm gonna choose the pressure. Now this is the part. So because we want it to cut through that uh, uh, template that we have, I'm gonna choose more pressure. Now there are a possibility, there is a possibility that you may have to do this twice um, because of the fact that it really has to cut through and because it's cutting on a transfer sheet, Usually it's not cutting through that transfer sheet. Usually it's just cutting through the layer so that you can peel it off the transfer sheet. But um, in our case, I'm gonna choose more. Um, and then really from here, all we do is if you look at your machine right now, um, you can't see it on mine, but if you look at your machine right now, you should be seeing the dual sided arrow. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push that arrow. We'll, we'll talk about this in the next video, but you'll push that arrow um, that's going to load the mat. So you're going to actually um, put your design on the mat, load the mat. Then you're going to see the C, and the C is where you're saying go, cricket, go, right? So when you push that, it's going to take the mat, pull it in the machine, and then go through and actually do the cut. And what's going to happen on your computer screen is you're going to be able to see what it's doing as it's loading, what the percentage is, and all of that fun stuff. So um, and then when it finishes, it's going to tell you, and the computer screen is going to tell you, the the looking at your Explorer, you're going to know, um, it's going to show you that blinking arrow again. And we'll talk in the next video about what to do after that. But 
Um, for now, just so that you know, we're gonna stop this video um, and then we're gonna go and actually um, physically like weed this out and follow this project to the end. All right, so that's what I wanted to go over with you guys today um, or in this video. I'll see you guys in a few minutes where we actually physically uh, get this design going. All right, ta-ta for now.